Okay, guys, so let's fix the little problems that we have with our search right here. First thing is that if we actually search right here, we discover that, okay, my name is set, everything looks great. But for the other users that were generated using our factories, the images don't show. And if I take a look at the response, right there, you discover that we have localhost slash storage. Okay, so why are we actually receiving the default path for our application as localhost? That's because in our .env file, we've set the root of our project to slash localhost okay so actually i'm just gonna copy this right here and the root to my application is gonna be this okay so when i'm actually importing data into algolia my level is gonna know that okay so this is the root of his project go ahead and use this also if i go to my user.php class right there remember we are fetching the database data so and we are using the asset method so we need to set that up your own so that lava is gonna know that okay this is the root of his project use it like that to test this out we're gonna actually generate a new list of users okay so 20 new users so i'll just go ahead and say php artisan db seed so it's just gonna create 20 new users into our database now that that's done let me go ahead to agolia right here i'm into my dashboard and i'll check the indices and right there I have 43 records. Okay, I'm sorry I messed up in my users table seeder. I actually changed this to one when I wanted to test out something. So I'll just change that back to 40 and uh, I'll run the seeder again. Okay, so at seeder that I'll go ahead and refresh and my index should actually demonstrate the number of records. So right there I have 83. So I just see that 40. Now let's just go ahead and see. Now, right now we see the results in the database at level 5.3, level 5.3. Okay, so the new users that just came in right there. So let's go ahead and search for Cindy, and all of them should have this default user avatar. So if I say Cindy and I hit enter, right there you see Cindy Grimes. Cindy Grimes, right there, it's a female. So the avatar is gonna be the female default avatar. Okay, so let's go ahead and format these images a little, just a little, so it doesn't look as messy as it does right now. So head over to our controller, to our search.view component, and right here we're just gonna give a class to our image. But first, let's just set the width to 50 pixels and the height to 50 pixels. And I'll just go ahead and give this a class of searched user. Okay, so I need some star tags, and this is gonna be dot searched user, and I'll just say border radius of 50 percent okay so that's done that's set i'll make sure gobwatch is running and i'll go and check that out in my browser so i'll just do a quick refresh right there and uh, let's just go ahead and search for cindy again so cindy and right there we see it's clearly better formatted okay so another record that we just pushed in let's just say dion we we'll search for dion and there we have it dion Okan. okay so let's search for something that's gonna give us more results what can we do let's just go with one letter okay so let's just search a d and right there we see d dion dian and the list of different users okay so some of them obviously are from the first time we ran our migrate without changing our env file so that's why some of them don't have avatars okay so you can go ahead and reformat your database so that each of them that is pushed up to agolia go with your roots directory and not local host okay so now that that's done next thing that we gotta take care of is in our app.blade.php okay you discover that actually if we access our login.blade.php page we can see the search users input which is weird right so right here we're just gonna wrap this in an if statement and we're gonna say if off check meaning if the user is actually authenticated then display that component right there 